Oh yes, folks, I'm back in the beautiful county of Northumberland and I'm going out on another serious wild camp. You better believe it, guys. This is where we're heading off to, up there, onto the summit of Easter Tor. Should be a good one, guys, and I'll bring you legends back on the trail mix. You better believe it. Away. Oh yes, Mandingos, welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show. Today, like I've already said, we're going back out on another wild camp up there to Easter Tor. You know what makes sense, Mandingos. I've already done that one a couple of times before. Yeva and Bell. I've done that once with little Mick and once with the two Chris's. So I always knew I was going to come back here. Not too hard. Nice and easy for a fat lad like me. <laughs> yes, it's going to be a good one, guys. I've got four nice beers to drink. I've got some lovely waski. So stick around for the world famous we view. Coming later on in the video, guys. I've got a lovely little bit of scrand dingo to cook, man dingoes. Oh yes, that's the plan, dingo. And loads of shite to talk about as usual. You know the score on the Block Outdoor Show. Okay than my fan sexualities. I'll bring you absolute legends back when I get closer to the top of Easter Tor. Right. Oh.
yes mandingos i'm on the summit of easter tour absolutely tremendous i've gotten lucky again with the weather someone's looking down on me you better believe that are and there's loads of room here loads of space for me to pick a a mint camping spot for tonight so i'm in no rush the old ian rush i'm just going to take my time i've got a good two and a half hours left before it's dark so i'm going to have a look around find the best spot i'll bring it back when i found a mint spot and i'm going to put the old tent around you you know it makes sense <laughs> oh my uncle this looks like a good spot down here folks let's check it out Oh yes, look at this. Absolutely perfect. The Mondo Mandingos is the sea in the southeastern region of Mongolia. Lovely views over on the hills there. Over on the Yever and Bell in the North Sea there, over in the distance. Still a little bit breeze, but not too bad. I've came just down off the top. It's a bit windier up there and um, I'd rather be here out the wind if it picks up any more during the night and gets really windy I've got a good bit of shelter here in front of this rocky area I this is where I'm gonna get set up tremendous I'm over the moon with this and it's just the perfect shape for my burghouse burghouse Ken Gom <laughs> so good the name it twice right folks let's get the old Baghdad off me back around me and get the tent up so that's a tent up folks magic oh I did want it like going down there like that but the way the wind's been coming it's been coming quite strong from this direction so I've put the bottom of the tent there you know it makes sense it could change during the night and it could come from a completely different direction but at the minute it's one direction why I'm some Harry Styles let's get the rest of my stuff set up I'll bring you back in a seconda when all my gear set up and I am dying for a nice beer <laughs> you know what I'm talking about guys Hey mate, where you looking at? Ah oh, yeah, why you good looking? Cheers guys, <laughs> tremendous. Bird of prey, bird of prey, flying high. Oh, lovely jubbly, first can guys. This one's by the Kirksler Brewery Company, Judacious Juicy Pale Ale, I think that's how you say it. Lovely, absolutely tremendous. A little bit breezy outside, so I've just came in the, the vestibulski. I need to invest in a new mic, you know a good mic, like a, a wireless one I can clip on there with a muff, the old muff diver, oh matron. So I, that's why I've sat in the old vestibule ski, vestibule, vestibule. Oh, I love my vestibule, oh, Vesta. I love my vestibule, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, my vestibule, I love my vestibule. <laughs> Where'd that come from? On my first can as well. 
Go to help you later on, guys. Watching this video after I've had a few more beers and waskies. Bloody hell. <laughs> hey, good eye. Anyway, it took us like two hours to walk up here. It shouldn't have took that long. Only an hour and a half. I'm not, I'm not that unfit. <laughs> I just took me time. I'm by myself. So there's no rush dingo man dingoes. I just took me time. I kept stopping. Getting a bit food tars on the old camaraderie. Just, I knew when I got here, I was going to have loads of spare time. So what was the rush? Wasn't raining or anything. So just absolutely really enjoyed that walk. As the year goes on, I'm going to push myself more and go up like higher peaks, higher summits. But this is perfect. The Mondo Mandingos, as they say, in the south of France for me at the minute. Look at this, man. This is the view from the old Vestibulski. This is what I'll be waking up to in the morning. Seeing that mind, it's forecast to absolutely lash down in the Morgan, so I might not get great views. The clouds might be in. I might be just packing away and getting out of Dodge City. That's the way it goes, man, thing goes when you're wild camping. You better believe it is. Aye, on the way up. I think I, I think I took a couple of little wrong turns as well, but it made no difference because I've come over there on Yeaver and Bell twice. So I knew Easter Tor, where I'm at now, was here. So I knew walk up the path, there'll, there'll be a way somewhere I can walk up and as the saying goes, guys, goes, guys, <laughs> oh, as the saying goes, guys, <laughs> as the saying goes, guys, all roads lead to Paris. You know what makes sense. I'm going to finish this can off very soon. I'm going to show you my setup, all my bits and pieces. And I think before it gets dark, we'll take a walk up to the top, have a mooch around the old Linden Gooch. You know what makes sense. I'll bring you back in a Winnie Mandela. Ice. Hey mate! Hey mate! Days of favour! Sell us your jar bone! Bone he is! Please just sell! <laughs> oh yes, man, Dingoes, just having a nice little cheeky chest warmer. And now it's time to show you my setup and all my food and drink for tonight. So I might as well start with the drinks. The Waski, I've got a half bottle, just less than half. Glen Maria, Spearside, single malt Scotch Waski. Mm. This one's the Twisted Vine Cognac Cask. Oh yes. Mm. That's very nice. You'll have to wait for the world famous with you later on. That was kindly bought for me from a legend by the name of Cami. Cheers, Cammy, my man friend. It's very much appreciated. I don't want to drink anymore. Save it for later. Put that down there. Right. As you've seen, I've already had one can. I've got one of these. Brew Dog, the old Brew Dog Millionaire. Here's a Jane Guava. I've got this one by Northern Spunk. Sorry, sorry guys. I mean Northern Monk. Faith. The old faith, the faith, the faith, the famous words of Boy George. Here's the pale ale. And another one from Northern Monk. Fruit Twist IPA. That is a quality selection of drink aroonies I've got tonight, man, dingo. A nice waski. Three more canned dingoes. You better believe it. I've also got some water. As soon as I got up here, I drank a bottle straight away. I've got two left. Coffees, dry mouth in the morning. You know what I'm talking about. Right, snack roonies I've got a chicken and mushroom video nasty. I've got a caramelised onion scotch egg, the old doctor leg. I've got some Harry Boar sour snake roonies um, Perry Perry, the old Kevin and Perry Bill Tong. Link in the description for the Bill Tong guys. Click that link, that'll take you through to Brown's Bill Tong's website. Remember to use your code Mandingo for your discount. You know what I'm talking about. I've got some 
Milano salami as well. For my main meal tonight, I've got two little steaks. With him, I'm having some baby new potatoes. The ones you put in the microwave. So I've already blasted them in the microwave last night for six minutes. So I put them in the old pansexualator on for two minutes. The old pansexuality. Uh, yes. Two minutes in the pansexual. You can't go wrong. Steaks in the frying pansexual. And I've got some peppercorn sauce. So that is going to be a meal fit for a mandingo later on. I've got a couple of Jürgen Cloffies. Caramel cup of dingoes, and I think I've covered everything there, guys. Yep, I've covered everything. Oh, time for a little snack of I'm going to have a chicken and mushroom video, nasty, and then another can. And then I think I'm going to take a mooch, the old Linden Gooch, up on the top, get some nice shots. We've got the sun going down over there, just gone behind the clouds. I'll try and get some nice shots, a nice little bit of food taj on the old camaraderie. Right, guys, I'm going to have a video, nasty, bring it back. In a few Winnie Mandela's ricicles. Just had a nice little 20, 25 minute walk around. Now it's time to sit down, enjoy me cans, a couple of waskies. I hurt my ankle a little bit on the way up. I just rolled it, but it wasn't too bad. And I'd done it again when I was walking around there. So I thought, right, that's it. <laughs> Get back down, sit down before my ankle is absolutely flucked. The old flucked capacitor, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that is my second can dingo, nearly gone dingo, man dingoes, as they say, in the deepest forest of the Congo. My hands are getting really cold. I think I'm going to get my heated gloves on. I'm not sure if I mentioned before in the previous video, I've got some heated gloves, guys. So I'm going to get them on, warm the old finger roonies up, and I'll bring you back in a Winnie Mandela. You better believe I will. Oh yes. On my fourth and final candingo, mandingos by Northern Monk. I've got the Faith No More, proudly sponsored by Boy George. You better believe it, guys. Oh, 
Oh, totally tropical taste. Very nice indeed. <laughs> yes. How lucky you are getting. The wind's just totally dropped. When I first got here, as I was coming up to the summit of Easter Tor, the wind was getting stronger and I came round off the summit and down here. And it was still windy down here. I was having to peg the tent in as I was putting it up so it didn't blow with you. And I thought, oh, the wind's just going to keep getting stronger and stronger, but <laughs> it's fell right off. You better believe it, as guys. Aye, but it's going to change. I've been checking the weather forecast, Met Office weather, and it is going to change big time during the night. The wind's going to pick up. I don't think it's going to be strong winds, but it's going to get a bit breezy, but there's going to be loads of Wayne, the old Wayne Rooney. So Wayne Rooney will be joining me for sausages in the morning. <laughs> you know, it makes sense, guys. I, I think I'm going to be packing up in the pissing down rain, but ah, I'm not bothered. That's just the way it goes. In fact, I like it, you know, when you're lying in your tent and you can hear that sound of the rain on the tent. That's fantastic and um, it doesn't matter. If you're getting wet when you're packing away, it doesn't matter because you're just getting back down to the Blotmobile, back home, another fantastic wild camp in the bag dingo, man dingoes. Cheers. Aye. <laughs> Tremendous, man. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not going to get smashed burgered <laughs> when I do these Wednesday night wild camps, guys. You know when you see us on the stealth camping videos, I normally do my stealth camps on a Saturday night and I'm pretty hammered and I'm wrecked and I'm slurring my words and I'm talking shite. Because for me, a Saturday night, I don't go out drinking, you know, I don't go out drinking in the pubs. So a Saturday night for me, when I'm out on my stealth camps, that's like my night out. So it's the one night a week. If you've watched long enough, guys, you know I always say I only drink one night a week because I get loads of people saying you're an alcoholic, you're a blonk, a bloody blah, blah, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Um, that's my one night a week when I have a drink, when I go out stealth camping on a Saturday night. So I do like a good drink, a few cans, wine, whiskey. But now I'm doing these midweek wild camps. And uh, yeah, like I said, I only drink one night a week. Now it's two. But I'm getting extra fitness, aren't I? I'm getting extra fitness <laughs> walking up the hills and the mountains and through the countryside. So I kind of complain. But I've got to have a drink, haven't I? When I come out and do these Wednesday night wild camps. Wait, I'm out now. It's Tuesday night now, but it's Wednesday as you're watching it. For me, camping without drinking is just sleeping in a tent. Part of the experience of camping for me is having a few beers and a, a couple of shots of whiskey while I'm out camping. Having a bit crack on with you absolute legends. You better believe it. But I don't want to get totally smash burgered on a Tuesday night. I've got to look after myself. I kind of just get wrecked for people's entertainment. But don't get me wrong, I will enjoy a few beers. And I think what I'm going to do is, when I do these midweek wild camps, I'm going to treat myself to like four nice beers or I might try some different ciders I haven't had before. I'll always bring a little bit of whiskey because we do the world famous whiskey of you. I might even do the odd rum or, you know, some different flavoured gins just to mix things up later on. I don't know. It's a whiskey with you. I might... Once in a blue moon, I might try something different. But I, I'll always have four canned dingoes of something nice, and I'll cook something nice as well, like a nice steak with the new potatoes and garlic butter. I've got some garlic butter there as well. Peppercorn sauce, which is when you buy yourself. It's just some, something to entertain yourself, pass a bit of time away, cook on some nice scrum dingo, man dingo. Oh yes, that is the plan, Dingo. You better believe it. Aye. I'm getting hungry now, like. I might cook me food tonight 
before I do the world famous Waski review. I normally do it the other way around, don't I? So, yeah, <laughs> I might have my meal soon, get some food in my fat tummy, and then do the Waski review late on, just before I go to bed. You better believe it, guys. But this is absolutely fantastic, go mandingos, as they say, in the southeastern region of Mongolia. Cheese mandingos, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. I might have another little snack of uni in a minute, and then a little chest warmer. You know what I'm talking about. Right. <laughs> Oh, man, it's the glow of self-love. <laughs> Mint. Time for a little chess warmer. Yeah. Right. Oh, yes, guys. A nice little juicy chest warmer. Before I go in and cook me food, I'm getting hungry now. Oh, it's getting a little bit chilly. <laughs> I'll have to get them heated gloves on soon. I can't remember if I've mentioned it, guys. I keep forgetting to see it. I've got these heated gloves, so later on I'm going to get them on because my little fingeroonies are getting very chilly. But yes, the waski has warmed my chest up just before I go in and cook my lovely steak meal, new potatoes, peppercorn sauce. You know, it makes sense. Aye. While I'm having this, I might as well talk some shite and answer a little question. I've had lots of people asking... Wait, it's because I've been saying throughout this year I'm going to meet up with a select few YouTubers every now and again. I mean, look, at most of these Tuesday night wild camps, which you're watching on a Wednesday night, most of them I'm going to be by myself. It's fantastic, this Han Solo wild camping. You cannot whack it. But um, yeah, every now and again I'm going to meet up with another YouTuber. So people are saying, why... Who's these YouTubers you're going to meet up with them? <laughs> What's the, is, is it a big secret? No, it's, it's no secret. I don't mind saying. And and I'm not giving it the big one saying this. Obviously, oh wait, guys, you've been watching long enough. You know I'm nothing special. And I never be tend to be. <laughs> with a face like, I've got a face like a bus Casey. <laughs> a dog wouldn't lick my face, you know what I mean? So I'm nothing special, guys. But I've been invited to come out with these YouTubers. So... Who am I to turn that opportunity down? Uh, so, the people I'm talking about is Andy Wardle, Paul Mesner, Sunland fan as well. Yes, Paul Mesner's an absolute legend. Um, Grizzly Gaz, <laughs> he's a good lad. Chris from MCM Outdoors, I think it was over a year ago we said, oh, we'll meet up for a wild camp, but just time goes by so quick and then. You forget the make up and pretty moth on the camera there. I I love Chris's channel, MCM Outdoors. Jimmy Lundy, Lundy's Wild Camp and Bushcraft. The legend, Alan Metalman Outdoors. You know, I've met up with Alan before just for a hike. I'd love to meet up with Alan again. 
we do message each other all the time so these is all for me they're all like wild camping royalty you know i watched i watched most of them before i even start my own channel but it's not just about like the so-called bigger channels there's there's a few lads um matty fox outdoors he's a local lad he's a, he's from the northeast just like me um Ray, a lad called Ray, um, he runs the channel RS Outdoors, yeah, I've had a big crack with him, he seems like a good lad, a good laugh, oh, this probably is another two or three, my mind's gone blank, apologies if I've forgotten, um, that's what happens when you drink too much whiskey, your mind goes blank dingo, doesn't it man dingoes? Aye, but um, the first lad I'm going to meet up with is Andy Wardle. And there's a reason for that. When I first started getting into like the hiking and the wild camping, I used to just go on YouTube rather than reading maps and things like that. I would just go on YouTube and I'd type in, I would type in Lake District Hiking or Lake District Wild Camping and I would see what popped up. And Andy Wardle always popped up. And wait, the first three I was watching, Andy Wardle, MCM Outdoors, and Alan Metalman. <laughs> so yeah, so going back to Andy Wardle, I would see like where he was going, where he was coming, where he was walking. And like you're watching the videos, you're seeing where the park, you're seeing where the where they'd walk up, what gate they'd go through, and I would kind of like copy their routes obviously not copying their videos i've got my own style you guys know that but um i i would see out of everyone on youtube my early days of watching like hiking and wild camping videos andy was like the main one i was watching the most so for him to invite me to go out for a wild camp is an absolute honor Moth. <laughs> Moth keeps on going on the old camaraderie. Yes. The likings of Andy. For me, they're like wild cat and royalty. Mm, I've got to say something, and I don't mean to be awful. He has got his faults. Look, uh, none of us are perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. I've made mistakes in life, and I'll make more mistakes. Anyone that says that they're perfect, they don't make mistakes. You're full of shit. You're a bullshitter. Bullshit, as Carl Pilkinton would say. But um, Andy's got his faults, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say it now. He's a Newcastle fan. He supports Newcastle United. But when it comes to camping, we'll let that slide. You know, I'm I'm not really bothered what football team you support when it comes to camping. But um, I I'm gonna meet up with Andy soon, even though he's a Newcastle fan and I'm a Sunderland fan. So Andy, if you're watching. We're going to meet up sometime in April. You better believe we are. I'll bring the waski. <laughs> yes. Me and Andy's going to have a good time and a world-famous waski with you. Sunland versus Newcastle in the world of wild camping. You know what I'm talking about. Bloody moths all over. And you know it makes total sense. Right. I'm going to drink this waski. We're going to get inside and we're going to cook my lovely steak meal. How are we? You know it makes sense. Some garlic butter in. The old garlic buta. Buta saints. Buta saints.
Oh yes. The food is nearly cooked guys. Just waiting for the peppercorn sauce to heat up. I've really pushed my luck tonight. I knew when I came out, my gas tin was on the dregs of society. There was hardly any left. So i have getting lucky to get my food cooked tonight. I'll have to get myself to go outdoors and get a new tin for the weekend. You know, it makes sense, man, goes. Oh, look at that. There's not much left. I need to keep a little bit for the world famous with you. Wasky with you. Mm. First, we're going to tuck into some nice food. Wasky review later on. You know, makes sense. Ricicles. Oh, yes, guys. Time to get stuck into my lovely meal. I've really struggled there. Like I said, my tin of gas was on the dregs of society. So I wasn't firing away at full power. It's just seeing so managed to do the job. I will have to get a new tin for my next camperoni. Oh, yes. But this will ding dang do for this mandingo. We'll try a potato with the peppercorn sauce. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, I could have done with a tree or something. This is moving around. <laughs> it's not ideal. Oh, that piece of steak's not bad. Mrs. Block bought me these. I just said two ranch steaks. So they're not like a Raheem Sterling or ribeye. They're just... They're a bit of a cheaper steak. So I was thinking they might be as tough as an old boot. But, um... That wasn't too bad, to be honest. And with the sauce on... Mmm, not bad at all. Oh yes, man, dingoes. Well, I'm getting really lucky. There's no wind up at all. I can't believe how lucky I've gotten. Look at that. New potato, piece of steak, Peppercorn sauce down the hatch. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And it tastes a million times better because I'm out here camping in the Northumberland Hills. Mm. This is better than any restaurant or any bar meal you can get. All you legends watching who also do a little bit of wild camping, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mmm. <laughs> oh yes, man, then goes. Absolutely tremendous. See him again. A little bit new potato. A bit steak. Some extra peppercorn sauce. Oh yes. A thing of beauty. Mmm. <laughs> oh. 
unbelievable absolutely unbelievable a nice change from uncle bensky beats international playboy bunny boiler licicles mm. oh my goodness don't get me wrong man dingoes i love a bit of uncle bensky ideal for stealth camping cooped in two winnets Two Winnie Mandela's. Add some King Prawns. A tin of curry. A tin of chilli. Whatever you want. Everything works with Uncle Bensky. Oh, but this is a nice treat for me. Mm. A little bit fat there. We'll chuck that away, guys. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I tell you what. The peppercorn sauce has made it million times better than what it would have been mm. Mm. Oh. well as you can see I am really enjoying this, my fan sexualities. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this in peace. <laughs> I'm probably making you sick watching you watching this fat guy tucking into this food. You know me, guys, though. I just like to get stuck in. I don't worry about who's watching. That's the way you've got to do it. Oh. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this in peace. Peace. I'll bring you back in a few seconds. Mm. For the world famous Wask of You. Oh, oh, yes. You better believe I will. Right. Oh yes, Mandingos, you know what time it is, Waski time. And this is what I've got this week, Glen Maria, Spearside Single Malt Scotch Waski. And this one is the Twisted Vine Cognac Cask version. As you can see, as usual, on the blot outdoor show, there isn't much left. <coughs> That's just the way it goes, guys. You better believe it is. How are then? Let's get this popped in. The old famous cub dingo, man dingoes. Oh, yes. I tell you what, though, there's still a, a decent little measure in there. Let's get the old baker rooney in it. Right. Like a dried fruit type of smell. Like prunes. Raisins, you better believe it. Spillage on the old Booteroonie. Maybe like a coffee, like a like a freshly brewed John coffee. And like a nuttiness to it. Yeah, a little bit nutty. You old Chrissy Nutton. And there's some spices in there as well. Mm hmm. A few little things going on there, Mandingos. That's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Tricycles. Yeah. 
just like the smell. There's a dried fruit thing in the taste of Rooney. But that cognac is there. I do like a little cognac now and again, once in a blue moon. But you can taste that there. Obviously it's a wasky and it tastes like wasky, but you can taste that cognac very slightly mixed in with it. Oh, very nice indeed. Mm. A few little spices, very mild though. Not tingling the tongue dingo, no burner rooney down the throat. Quite mild, quite soft. Um, the slightest taste of walnuts. Not a big taste, just, just a mild taste of nuts in my mouth. Oh, matron. <laughs> Slightest taste of coffee, like roasted nuts, coffee, dried fruits, dark fruits. The cognac's in there, obviously, wasky taste. And dare I say, the slightest hint of like a chocolate. Flavour Rooney Mandingos, very nice, very complex, but very soft. I get a lot of people asking us, Mandingo, can you recommend a, a wasky that's not too expensive? And I want one that's not rough, not harsh, smooth. I've tried wasky before and it burnt me throat and it wasn't pleasant. I tell you what, that... I think you can get that for a 31, 32, 33 pound, about 32 pound, let's say, which isn't a bad price for a, a quality single malt whiskey. The normal Glen Maria, that's often on special in Morrison's, I noticed that, for like less than 20 pound, but this is like a special version, this is the Twisted Vine Cognac Cask, so about 31, 32 pound for that. Isn't a bad deal at all. For a quality drop. You know what I'm talking about, Mandingos. However, let's get on with this. See if I can get any more flavour rooskies. Yeah, like I said, that's going down smooth. There's nothing harsh. It isn't, I took a big gulp there, and there's nothing there making me go, Ugh. you know, like what whiskey does sometimes. Even someone like me that drinks whiskey every weekend. Sometimes you taste it and whew, takes you back. That is nice and, nice and soft, nice and mild. Dry fruits, a little bit nutty. There's definitely cognac in there. And like I said, a few Winnie Mandela's ago. <laughs> like I said, a few minutes ago. A bit of a chocolate taste coming through, mixing in. The old fusel here, mixing in with all the other flavours. It's a quality drop down the hatch, guys. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. Very enjoyable indeed. Glen Maria Single Malt Spearside Scotch Whiskey Twisted Vine Cognac Cask. Kindly given me from a legend by the name of Kami. Cheers, Cammy, my man friend sexual. It is very much appreciated. You better believe it is. Time for the old score dingoes. I'm going to give that. I was going to see 8.8, 8.9. I kind of give it less than a 9 because I really enjoyed it. I don't know if it's just because the experience I'm having at the minute or what. Where, you know, when you're camping up on the hills, I feel great. I feel like I really enjoy it. But that's what it's all about. Yeah, it's the whole experience. <laughs> I'm going to give it a nine. 
a big fat solid nine out of ten dingo man dingoes cheers cami mate thank you so much it's the second bottle of whiskey he's given me cheers mate glen maria twisted vine cognac cask i'm going to give it a big fat juicy nine out of ten dingo man dingoes you better believe i am and you know what i'm talking about this is serious wild coming Boomski Rice. Pan factual. Factual. Well, folks, my Mandingo friends, that's it. It is five past two in the morning. It's very late. I'm tired now. It's time to get some shut eye. It's been an absolutely brilliant night. <laughs> you cannot whack it. Good drinks, good food, although I did struggle to get a coot, but that's just the way it goes, Mandingos. I got there in the end. <sighs> Right, I'll see you legends first thing in the morning at coffee time. <laughs> you better believe I will. Good night, Vienna, and bonjour. Nice. Good morning, Mandingos, 8.45. Didn't sleep too bad. It would have been better if the air bed hasn't gone flat. Ugh. It happens, it happens now and again. Luckily I've got this foil mat down. So that stopped the cold from getting through. And it's not too cold outside. <coughs> yeah. It's been lashing down like a couple of times I woke up during the night. And I was trying to get comfortable. I was lashing down outside. Was eased off now. I think it's just a fine drizzle. So talking about fine drizzle, I'm going to pop out and I'm going to have a little drizzle. I'm going to drain the old Eddie Lizard. I'll bring you back in a couple of seconds, guys. Cloudy. You old cloudy lemonade. Well, folks, I can't even get a coffee on this morning. Me gas has run out. Nightmare. I was just about to put me little pot on and have a Jürgen coffee, but uh, I might as well just get packed away now. Get down to the Blotner Bale and I'll, I'll pull in somewhere on the way home, grab a coffee. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'll bring you back when I'm all packed up and ready to hit the street. So there we go, man dingoes. That's me all packed away. Baghdad and Bin Diesel. You can see where I've had the tent. Leave no trace and all that carry on. All my rubbish is in there. There was no rubbish lying around. Like when I go stealth camping and the shit all over. This is an absolutely beautiful place. So yeah, <laughs> leave no trace, man dingoes. You know what makes sense. The clouds. The Clagaroonie has just started to clear. Perfect timing. So I can see where I'm going on the way down. I'm going to head up there. Because when I came up, I came up from the other side of that. So up to there and then down that way. All the way back down to Ziblotmobile. Okay then guys, I'll see you legends when we're down at the bottom and ready to go home. Rice.
Well, folks, that's it. That's the end of this week's wild camping video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a great time as usual. If it's your first time watching, yes, I know. <laughs> my channel's a little bit different than the other wild camping channels with all the stupid things I see. But it's all just good fun, guys. You better believe it is. Yeah, <laughs> so if you've enjoyed it, Mandingos, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. It is very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Please join me on my next video, which will be Friday night for another Low Star Takeaway with you. Sunday night for another serious stealth camp. Serious. And next Wednesday for another wild camp. I don't know where I'll be, but I'll be out camping somewhere. You know what makes sense, Mandingos. See you later. Right. Oh, animation. You know, it's my turtle since my very nice.